It's a bit of delayed F1 2023 race review for the United States Grand Prix. Make sure you check out the F1 manager content and all that good stuff. But Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc have been disqualified. So that's why I thought I'd wait on this because I knew they were under investigation. So we've waited to the next morning. You know what? It was a good race. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a race of strategy. Um, you know, one stops against two stops, slightly shorter two stops against slightly longer two stops. But for me, I think Mercedes and McLaren gift it Red Bull this victory today. Or maybe you could simply just argue Max Verstappen's just simply that damn good. You could argue that. But for me, with McLaren, I think they did throw it away as much as Mercedes, but it, I don't think they had the pace. I think Mercedes and Red Bull were a wee bit quicker, a wee bit of a step above Lando Norris this weekend. It's not really the best suited McLaren track, which they were hyping up a lot, but when he took that lead, it looked that way, and I think they made a mistake by pitting him under the hearts. In the second, in the first stint, sorry, at the first pit stop. For Mercedes, they should have just match the strategy of Max. I don't really understand what they were going for. Or, at the very least, no gets me though, right? There was a point in that race where Hamilton pitted for his uh, first stop, I believe it was. And he was about 13 seconds in front of Lando and Max. What? Why didn't he just try and eke that out as long as possible? Like, and wait till they caught up, then pit, and try a one-stop? Now, albeit he would have got disqualified anyway, like, but, yeah, there only was four cars tested for this. It was Hamilton, it was Lando Norris, it was Max, it was Leclerc. 50% of the cars tested were disqualified. Um, and for me, they probably should have, you know, maybe checked a few more cars after that. We did have a few... Unlucky drivers in this race as well. Ocon, Alpine were looking good this weekend uh, with him. Oscar Piastri as well. Alonso, who would have been on for like a P7, potentially P6, because he was catching Gasly. Um, but I tell you what, Lance Stroll, I know there's been a few disqualifications and retirements did go his way, but pit lane to um, seventh is good. Make no mistake about it. it is. And I think it just goes to show you that Aston Martin... They managed to like definitely tweak it overnight and get their car performing. I'm not saying they were as quick as the other four cars ahead of them, but um, I think they probably were quicker than Alpine. I think you know that Stroll's fastest lap would suggest that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, absolutely insane um, moments in this race. I, I I thought it was fairly well. I say insane. I mean, it's a wee bit over exaggeration, but I really enjoyed it, guys. But for start one. From Lando Norris, from Sainz, from Perez, Russell, Gasly, Stroll, Sonoda, Albon, and Logan Sargent. So Williams get double points. Fair play to Logan Sargent. And I think it's just mad that like Daniel Ricciardo is being linked so heavily with a second Red Bull seat because of Perez, his favourite, and he got 15th for day. Like, Logan Sargent's beat this guy to points. Now, Logan Sargent's also beat Magnus and Guanaju, Joe Bottas, and Hulkenberg to points, but I think those cars are shite. I think the AlphaTari today was actually a pretty good race car. Um... And also, I mean, his teammate got five points, got the fastest lap as well, which is the right decision for them to do. But that is where we're going to leave this video, guys. That's your F1 2023 United States Grand Prix review. And until next time, Max Verstappen, simply unstoppable.